is spending for him is his life. Antosh Sulek's home, a shrine to a life's work. You've left this room yes. exactly the same it, way as he yes, left it. Yes, it was, yes. Yes, that's that's left it. It was in here. So your house is like a museum to your son. For me it is. Isn't it? It's for a lot of people who says yes, yes, yes. Peter and his wife are Polish emigres who settled in Morpeth after the Second World War. He became a miner in Ashington. Life then, as now, revolved around their son's art. He was in here, worked so many years, what I say, is maybe it's over 30 years. Over 30 years? Over 30 years. In this he, room? In this room. How many pictures are here in this house? Well, look hard, this, because I counted up to 600 and I stopped counting, because too much. Antosh painted like a man possessed, a tortured soul battling inner demons. I mean, the landscapes, I think were, it was done when he was more of a stable, you know, character sort of thing. The abstract ones were when he was sort of in a frenzy. Antosh was never interested in selling his paintings. He gave them away. He died penniless in 1987 from a liver condition, aged just 36. All these years later, his work has become increasingly valuable. From selling something for 15 pounds 20 years ago, you know, you could be selling something for 1,000 or 1,500 now. So they've gone up considerably. I think he's still ahead of his time. I think he's ingenious, actually. And I think in the future, he's going to become even more collectible. Meanwhile, as 96-year-old Peter worries about the future of his living museum, his friend and local picture framer thinks he might have an answer. Maybe they could go into somewhere like Beamish. I mean, his house is back in the 60s, maybe. The furniture's probably in the 60s. He'd make a nice little cottage in one of the Beamish rows. The artist's pictures all around the walls as they are now. It's amazing. Isn't it? It's like a step back in time. Recreate the artist's bedroom for when he is actually famous, which I'm sure he will be one day. People can go there and see how the artist worked. Who knows how long it'll take for Antosh Sulek to get the recognition his friends and family think he deserves. And what's to become of his huge body of work? It's going to be difficult. Difficult. We'd have to seek help from somebody to advise with and what to do with all these Pictures. I suppose in an ideal world you'd want to keep it all, wouldn't you? We'd like to keep it all together. In future, I am sure Anto should be recognised by people. He was a great artist. Sharina Saga, BBC Look North, Morpeth.